Well, even if Brenda gets on the stand and says what happened to Alexander, Alexander. it was self-defense both times. So it wasn't like she shot this guy in 07 because of a bad breakup. Well, we have only her word for it and the detectives. But as they are both uh, implicated in the killings, their veracity is very much in question. So how do you keep Brenda from telling what she did? Well, we have made our best efforts to settle out of court. So far, our uh, overtures have been rebuffed. If this case goes to trial, it will fall on me to have Brenda so thoroughly prepared that she makes no accidental admissions. Well, I cannot wait any longer. Will you tell the detective I dropped by? Mm, I will. And thank you for your hospitality. Table, you'll knock over the vase. Whoa! How many times have I told you? Sorry, I forgot. All right. <sighs> Didn't expect to see you so soon. The study group broke early, so I decided to come right home. Did you forget about picking something up? Oh my god. Oh my god. I totally forgot. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Okay. Forgot what? I was supposed to stop by your school and pick up your award. But I didn't ask you to. Well, we thought you were disappointed that you couldn't go to the ceremony, and we thought you'd like to have your award. Oh, no, that's okay. I can get it tomorrow. Don't make a big deal about it. We think it's a big deal. How's your stomach ache? Better. Okay, in that case, I'm gonna go pick up chicken soup. Unless, of course, you'd like me to make it. No. <laughs> okay. That's a good idea. I'm starving. All right. I'll be back in a bit. Okay. Okay. Oh. Mom doesn't have a clue, does she? Fake stomach ache works every time. Thanks for not blowing it. I still don't know why you didn't accept your award. You really were here. Can we not talk about the crash, please? Fine. I don't like thinking about it either. Hey, can I borrow your laptop? My battery's been acting weird and I just need to download something. Uh, use mom's. Mine's off limits. But it's one download. I said no, just, and if your battery's not working, just try plugging it in. You are so selfish. I always let you borrow my stuff. What's wrong with you? You! You never do anything for me, Christina. I hate you! <laughs> Hey, um, got a call from Bernie. Is there a problem with the casino negotiations? No, I got a call. A, no, it's personal. Uh, Mike is in it to another guy for a hundred thousand. Oh. After the last bad debt landed him in the hospital, he said to me that he was going to get into a program that he was going to quit. Listen to me, like a, I'm like a kid with whose father's an addict. He's not quitting. He's got a disease. I paid off the debt. We can set Mike up with somebody else. No, and I got to deal with this. He's, Mike's got to go into rehab. This thing with Mike couldn't have come at worse time. Uh, you, you don't have to get him into a rehab right away. No. Like I said, the debt's covered. You know, we can keep Mike going for a little while, and I just get him into treatment a little later. If you, you know, I don't want to sound like a psychiatrist, and you know, but you're kind of like an enabler. I know you like to take care of people, but sometimes you gotta let them fall, take care of oh, themselves. Maybe there are some people I can't stand see fall. Oh yeah, I'm not. I'm not judging. It's just that, you know. I mean, look, it's like we all have issues. But 100 grand is a, is a lot of money. And if that creditor didn't know to go to Bernie, and he, he, he went to Mike, Mike could end up in the hospital or dead. I can't risk that anymore. He needs to get professional help. As much as I don't want to say that, he needs it. 
Well, do you think he's going to agree to it? I got to find a way to make him do it. I know he's, it's not going to be easy because he's not going to want to do it. You know, I'm, now I sound like a seven-year-old kid wondering why his father loves cards more than me. Hey, listen, listen let, just let me, I'll make the arrangements for you. No, that's all right. I'll do it. I get it. Uh, I appreciate it, and thank you for bringing this to me. Anything else? Oh, yeah, hey, listen, one more thing. I know it's random, <laughs> but I, I, I wanted to ask you to be my best man. Michael wanted Dante, and I just, I don't want to disappoint my sons. No, I'm glad you did what Michael asked. I just wanted you to know that you're the first, you know, first person I thought of because you've been a great friend and... Hey, it's not like I'm not going to be at the wedding. I'm giving Brenda away. I can see how upset you are for handing this I'm over I'm counting <laughs> the days. <laughs> I'm, hey, you know what? I, it's, it's, I'm finally getting married, you know, and it's been a long time. I'm going to have my, my sons there. My daughter's going to be in the wedding, and even if, if Mike can't make it, he's, he started this whole thing, and he's got to know it. What is wrong with you? I can't believe you just did that. I didn't mean to. It was an accident. It was no accident. You picked it up and threw it. And Mom's going to be the one that yells at me. Why? I'm the one who broke it. Because I'm supposed to be watching Stop you. Stop screaming at me. I didn't mean to. I don't care. What's wrong with you, Molly? I don't know. You just made me so mad. Because I wouldn't let you borrow my stupid laptop. You're such a brat. I hope Mom grounds you for a month. Hey. You okay? Your lawyer came here and I tried to reach you, but you didn't answer. Uh, okay. Did he... Did he say something to upset you? We had a really weird conversation. He thought that I knew something that I didn't know. Well, what did he tell you? Honey. When you were guarding Brenna in Manhattan, she killed someone. And you covered it up. <laughs> 